you're watching The Ramsey Show. Now for the question of the week. What's your favorite winter activity? What's your favorite winter activity? I like skiing. I'd probably say snowball fighting is the best. Climbing indoors. What is your favorite winter activity? Sleeping and watching TV and staying out the cold because I'm from Louisiana and I hate the cold. <laughs> there you go. Favorite winter activity? Skiing. Good choice. Sledding. Snowboarding. Those are what is your favorite winter activity? Snowball fights. Skating. Snowboarding. What is your favorite winter activity? Mine is skiing. Nice. What is your favorite winter activity? Sledding. Snowball fights. All right. My name is Roger. And you want to know what my favorite thing about winter is? Rocking out with the rest of my friends. What is your favorite winter activity? Skiing. What's your favorite winter activity? Um, I like. Thanks for the answers, Ramsey. Mine is skiing. Mine is indoor soccer. And now on to our interview with Mr. Fell. Uh, what is your name and what do you do at Ramsey? Uh, my name is Nathan Fell, and I am the new science teacher here at Ramsey. Uh, what do you think of the kids here? So far, so good. I mean, you guys have a lot of energy, and I love working here. I started over at high school, and uh, you guys have a ton more energy, and it's a lot more fun, and I leave every day energized. Where did you, how many pets do you have besides your career? Besides this little lady? Yeah. Uh, this is the classroom pet, but at home I have, you know, a lot of bugs, a lot of uh, beetles, and I'm, uh, I have some praying mantis that will hatch in the spring, and I have two cats. And what is your favorite element? My favorite element? Um, you know what? I think if I had to pick one, it would have to be iron, and I would pick iron because it's the last element that is made inside of a star. Uh, most elements come from a couple of different things, but when a star is collapsing, uh, the last element that can happen in a, in a stellar, what's called stellar nucleogenesis, is, is iron. And if you look up on a, on a periodic table, everything past iron is, has to be made inside of a supernova. No other way. All right. Thank you for that. Thanks. Thanks for interviewing me. Thanks for the interview, Mr. Fowl. And now for the Rams update with Elisa and Grace. Hi, I'm Elisa. And I'm Grace. And welcome to the Rams update. <laughs> Girls basketball won against Parkway and lost against Capitol Hill. This puts their season record at five wins and three losses. Wrestling had a match against Capitol Hill and Antonio and Jeffrey were undefeated. The team is growing, but they need more people, and they're going strong. The dance activity day is on Tuesdays. Three dollars to get in, and one dollar if you have zero tardies, and the movie is free. Remember to keep your electronics, jackets, and uh, backpacks. Backpacks. The honor roll was on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Congrats, scholars. <laughs> The contest for creating the new Ramsey logo was won by Chang Yang. Congrats, kid. Now, now time, time for Behind, Behind the, the Beard, Beard with Mr. Haugen. Just remember, if you're on time, you're late. If you're early, you're on time. And this has been the Rams Update with mm -hmm. Grace and Alisa. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the interview, Mr. Haugen. And now for a PSA.
And now time for other stuff going on in our school. Team looking fierce, fierce as ever. I am Lisa and I'm Grace, and this is our guest sword. Welcome to the Ramsey update. Ramsey. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite winter activity? Sleep. Hibernation. And now, t <laughs> me? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> camera. I got in trouble. I have the camera. I got in trouble. I have the camera. Did she have her venom removed or no? No. No. So she could kill. She it. don't. No. No. They don't. They don't bite anything that isn't going to be food, and they don't think anything is that's bigger than them is food. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So what's your uh, spider's name? Uh, my foundation students named her Spikeisha. I got. I let the students name her. So is she just? A tarantula, or is there a specific type of tarantula? She, yeah, she's a what's called a Chaco Golden Knee, and uh, they're very tame. They're very calm. They don't mind being held too much by people. Um, I raised her from a tiny little spiderling. When I first got her, she was smaller than a pencil eraser, and she was pink and fuzzy and super cute. Oh my God. Um, and she's not fully grown yet. She's only about two years old. When she's fully grown, she'll be about eight to nine inches across, which is about the width of my hand span. So she'll be about as wide as my hand. She's about halfway there. Um, she likes to eat uh, pretty much anything that's smaller than her, that isn't threatening. So right now she eats a lot of cockroaches and crickets and stuff. But when she gets bigger, she'll eat uh, mice and birds and rats. And whatever she can take down, she'll do it. But she doesn't mind me so much. She knows my voice. She knows the sound of this voice means food. So, she's cool with it. What is the full lifespan of a tarantula? Depends on the sex, and it's really drastic. Uh, males live in captivity maybe about five years, seven years tops, uh, if they're really well taken care of. Uh, females will live upwards to 20 years, 